This is the Free Motion Quilting Tutorial for Line Fern. This video is being sponsored by the Gidget 2 Affordable Sewing Table. Get your machine on a flush surface with a tabletop so Free Motion Quilting Big Quilts on your home machine is much easier. Learn more about this table at DayStyleDesigns.com. Now let's get back to Line Fern. To quilt this design, you're first going to start with a long, curvy line going from one edge of your quilting space to the other. Now, if you're stitching this in, let's say, the borders of your quilt, you're going to take this line down the full length of your borders. This is a stem-centered design, so wherever you want this design to fill, just simply take your stem into that area. This is the starting way. I'm stitching the stem actually a lot wider than I usually do, so that way I have enough space to go inside and stitch this internal echo. I'm just simply stitching and echoing that outside line so I have four lines that make up the stem. This makes it stand out a lot better on the surface of your quilt, adds a little bit more texture to it, and just makes the tech you know, makes the design look a little different. If you want a simpler version of this, just check out Fern and Stem. That's a much simpler version. So now I'm going to start working on the leaves, and it takes a little while just to get the hang of stitching the leaves wide enough in order to have the space for the two internal echoes within each one. So just try and stitch a nice wide leaf shape, just a wiggly leaf, then stitch inside and hit that point and echo back out. It's real tiny in this example, but it will get a little wider, wider later in the video. You can really see it. What I really want to make a point of is hitting that point right there in the leaf. That's really important because it's adding that little bit of travel stitching, a little bit of extra thread texture to that area so it stands out just a little bit better. And this is going to make those tips of those leaves just a little darker than the rest of the design. And I love that. It just adds a little extra you know, touch of texture to those areas. So m definitely make a point of taking that internal echo. So just stitch inside and echo all the way up and make sure to hit that point. If you need to, that's a really good point to stop with your needle in the down position and think about where you're stitching next. Reposition your quilt. A you know, switch the angle of your quilt so that it's in a better position for you to see what you're doing and make sure that what you're stitching feels comfortable to you. Always feel free uh, to stop whenever you hit travel stitching areas, like right here when you hit the stem. That would be a really good place to just stop and think about what you're doing so that way your stitches continue looking really good. Here you can see I've simply um, fast forwarded the video up to the opposite side of the this line fern and you can see how this is starting to take shape and how the texture looks. The tips of those wiggly wobbly leaves and of course the edges of the stem which are travel stitched on probably the most out of everything in the design those are going to stand out the best because they're a little darker than the rest of the design and it really will look wonderful on the surface of your quilt. Take your time with this design if you stitch it in a border, which it would actually be a really great design to use in the borders of your quilt. Uh, when you're stitching the stem, make sure to stop and reposition your quilt about every four inches so that way the design continues to fill evenly and smoothly and you always have the best uh, way of advantage of looking and knowing where you're stitching at all times. Same way for the leaves. If you're stitching more than four inches at a pass, make sure to stop and reposition as much as you need to in order to make it comfortable. So bearing all of that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Line Fern. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this job a lot easier, check out DayStyleDesigns.com.